Hello everyone and welcome to Cinderful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, yes, that's right, we're doing it again because these have been really popular and I think there's been some really good discussion about them. We're going to talk about another 10 celebrities who were into Warhammer. Now, of course, I went on a big spiel in the last one of these we did talking about why I think this is such a great thing and I'll do it again in case you haven't seen one of these videos, I'll talk a little bit about why I really like that this is a thing, seeing celebrities, and why I'm actually doing the videos. When I was a young kid, I was still part of that sort of day and age where being a nerd was something to be looked down upon. I remember reading, you know, comic books or playing Yu-Gi-Oh or building Warhammer miniatures in my lunch breaks at school, uh, and you would be looked down upon. You would be teased, you would be picked on, you would be bullied, all of these sort of things, and it was rough. However... I've seen the world evolve now into a place where those same sort of things that I used to enjoy, particularly like we look at things like comic books uh, and superheroes, are so popular even just in mainstream stuff now by everyone. I see that this stuff has become much more accepted in the real world and we're starting to see more and more of these celebrities come out from various different parts of life and from different sort of aspects of, I guess, a celebrity, where they're from, you know, whether they're actors, whether they're sports people, whether they're even politicians I've seen do this, you know. Um, and it's all really interesting, like, to see where they are and to see all these things sort of accepted in the real world once again. Um, and I think that's great because the kids after me now are going to have a much more better time not having to worry about, am I going to get teased for the thing I'm doing? They can just enjoy the thing they enjoy. But... Because of that, I want to sort of look, and we're going to expand, I'm going to try and look at different people from different places around the world. I know we've looked at singers, we've looked at actors, we've looked at, um, in the case, like some UFC and UFC fighters and some WWE wrestlers as well, um, or sports entertainers, whatever you like to call them. Um, but it's been really cool having a look and talking about all these different people that are into the hobby like I said, as always, drop your comments down below on any others you've heard things about or you've seen or you know the poster stuff. We're going to go through another 10 today, so let's get cracking on. This is a yes, another 10 celebrities who are into Warhammer or tabletop miniature wargaming. Close enough. Number one, Gerard Way. Now, for those of you who don't know who Gerard Way is, he is the lead singer of the punk bands or pop punk bands now are they uh, my chemical romance he is a big nerd we know he's obviously written his own comic books uh he's well into a lot of nerd stuff but also uh in a blog post back in 2009 he was documenting his long-standing warhammer obsession reminiscing about painting elder figures with tiny terrible uh enamel paint as a teenager um where he got many of his other friends into it as well so it's not known whether or not he's continued on with this but it's known that he was into it he does have a, a love for the hobby whether or not he actually partakes in any of it whether you know painting or playing the game anymore who knows but he definitely has that love for the hobby Number two, Chris Clue. Now, I probably got that last name wrong. Now, I'm not too familiar with this person myself, though I did a little bit of research into him, um, and it turns out he is quite an avid war gamer, especially for Warhammer 40k and War Machine, which is pretty cool. Like, seeing someone into a game that's not Warhammer as well is really cool. Um, but Chris Clue is a former Seattle Seahawk, Minnesota Viking, and Oakland Raiders punter from the NFL. And I thought that's why I'd add him to this list. It's cool to see someone, I guess, in the manly man's game uh, be into more nerd culture stuff. And this isn't more recent as well. He was a player in the NFL back in around two in the mid 2000s. So this is really cool seeing someone in that sort of stuff and seeing like proper sports stars that aren't, you know, fighters or anything. I don't think we've really talked about anyone of this sort of stature of a sports star in these videos before. So it's really cool to see that like these people exist in different things. Um, uh, really cool. Like did a little bit of research. Yeah. Former punter. Always cool. The kickers and all that sort of stuff for the NFL. Number three, the band Sabbath. What an old school heavy thrash metal band from back in the day. Especially if you're in sort of the UK metal scene, you'll definitely know who Sabbath are. Their music it has featured in White Dwarf. Um, Warhammer Rocks, which was sort of the title of one of the White Dwarfs back in the day, um, was really, really cool. They sort of have a lot of Warhammer inspired music. 
becoming one of you know the original sort of Warhammer bands. Maybe not the most well-known Warhammer music band that would probably go to Bolt Thrower, but they definitely are one of the early sort of ones to take in. Um, they did a lot of work, and now a bunch of them work as producers in the music industry as well. Uh, maybe, hopefully, influencing others to write Warhammer-themed music. We should get these guys to produce the next album from Windrose, perhaps, maybe. But it's really cool to see so many things into metal. I'm a metalhead myself, and it's just great to see how much Warhammer is in the metal scene. We've talked about so many bands in this series of videos Love seeing them. Number four, Peter Cushing. For those who don't know who Peter Cushing is, I guess people of my generation will definitely know him from Star Wars as General Tarkin, uh, the infamous character that was one of the sort of leading commanders of the Imperial forces uh, during Darth Vader's era of Star Wars. Now, Peter Cushing never really got into Warhammer too much, though he is known he is an avid miniature wargamer and a painter. Um, you can see pictured here him and all these hand-painted miniatures he was really into stuff like a lot of historicals and reenacting battle scenes and all of that sort of stuff um, I'm sure he would have loved to see his own likeness rendered in like miniature form and seen a Star Wars game come to fruition back in his time would have been something awesome for him to be a part of um, but this is like really cool this is showing how long the history of miniature wargaming is where we've got people like Peter Cushing who are much, much older than I and unfortunately now not with us in the world, but they've sort of started that legacy of miniature wargaming all the way back then and we have to continue it up until now. Number five, and we return to the world of USC yet again with Dan Hardy. Now, this is something interesting because it's talked about that a bunch of the people in UFC are former nerds. And this would go, like I talked about in our last video, uh, how I sort of talked about, I know someone who is in the Australian MMA scene and they have worked at Games Workshop in their lifetime. This is really cool, like to see these sort of people in something that's considered, like American Football for it, something manly man, into all this sort of nerd stuff, which is awesome. Um, I like it. You know, I had some friends and that were much more of a jock than I was. Um, they definitely looked down on it, but also I had some jock friends that definitely were keen and interested in the sort of stuff that I was into as well. So it is great to see more people in this sort of area of the world coming out and enjoying just enjoying what they enjoy in the nerdy things that they like. Number six, Andy Serkis. An actor and voice actor that is currently set to be one of the major voices in the new Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Damon Hunters game. Um, now, there's actually some stuff on him of Warhammer TV of him painting up some miniatures and learning to paint. Uh, he's talked a lot on Warhammer TV about his sort of history with Warhammer and how much he knows about it um, and his enjoyment in taking part in the role and getting to play a part. This is really cool. I like seeing, you know, celebrities actually come into the games. We've obviously had things like David Tennant and Billy Piper read uh, the audio dramas of the Warhammer Kids books that have come out. And this is cool to see, you know, another more famous voice come into Chaos Gate as well. Um, and of course, you've got alongside this, I forget his actual name, the guy who plays Rollo from Vikings is of course going to be Space Marine Captain Titus. Number eight, Jaden Smith. Now, this is another one of those that there's a lot of rumors flying about, but I can't actually find any solid information. Apparently, both Will and Jaden used to play this when they Jaden was younger. Um, apparently, Will's into Orcs is apparently an office rumor that goes around, but, you know, what gets said on the internet. Um, this would be really interesting to see someone like Will Smith get it. Um, he's certainly got the slap for a power fist um, on him. Uh, but besides that, like, Jaden Smith, I think, is another one of the actors sort of family. Seeing a father and son getting into Warhammer together would be really cool. Um, but this, like I said, this is one of the ones where a lot of people have said this in a lot of comments and a lot of different places. I just can't find anything concrete to prove that this one is actually real. Number nine, Rahul Kohli. Um, now, this is a British-born actor. He's best known for starring in roles in the comedy TV series I, Zombie and the horror miniseries The Haunting of Bly Manor and Midnight Mass. Uh, this is pretty cool because I do actually see him engage with the Warhammer community quite a lot on Twitter. I see a lot of people commenting and him tweeting back. Uh, and at the moment, he's currently trying to get his own miniature rendered. Uh, you can see here is his face and here's a miniature of himself he's trying to get made. 
pretty cool stuff. I think like trying to get a miniature of yourself. Um, one day I'd like a miniature of myself, but uh, he's someone who's definitely really deep into the hobby now. Um, I actually remember seeing his tweets talking about how to get into it. He was really interested in it during like lockdown periods and has since gotten into it more and definitely become part of the regular sort of hobby sphere on Twitter. I see him posting constantly. You can go find him on Twitter. He posts up his miniatures and his painting all the time. Number 10, Neil Robertson. Now, this is probably, you know, at the bottom end of, like, highly celebrities. Neil Robertson is a professional snooker player. Um, but what's cool about this is people have actually seen him at Warhammer tournaments. This is the cool sort of thing. Meeting, a, you know, someone who's, you know, somewhat of a celebrity at a tournament is pretty cool. Seeing someone with, you know, a high profile in some sort of world. Snooker does have its own big sort of circuit in a way. Um, definitely, you know, it's not a massive sport like some of the other sports, like, watching football or anything like that this is really cool to see someone who is got a higher profile and actually attends the tournament still this would be cool like it'd be cool if we got like the massive actors that do this you know imagine seeing henry cavill at a warhammer 40k tournament but you can see here his own warhammer 40k collection he's very deep into it um awesome to see someone going to tournaments still that is you know famous nice um but that is our list let us know your list down below there's some really cool ones still out there we haven't touched on, but this is just a load of fun seeing which and who around the world and what they're into and what they also do besides and where like how Warhammer has spread all over the world. Well, that's the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below and let us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our fine community here at Sinful Gaming, you can do so by following the link in the video's description to our Discord server. And lastly, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so either via Patreon or YouTube members, and both of those are linked again down in the video's description. As a special thanks to all our Patreon and YouTube members, I'd like to give a shout out to them all. So a special thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, James Sorin, Greenskins Gaming, AJC, Kenny Lowe, Outer and Shop First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Eight, Cure Dynamic, Agu, Anthony B, Anton Nielsen, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Dynet226 and Derek. And a special shout out to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Kenton Young, Chris Wallace, Ronya, Vinny, Locklark, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Revenar, Wolfric Nick, Broken Shelf, Ariana Airwoods, and Sean Scott. Lastly, a special thanks, first of all, to Lady Witchfox Art, who does all the amazing artwork for our channel, and to Xmorphic, who does all the amazing Discord server background work for us. Thank you all for watching. Once again, stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the Grey. Ciao for now.